Message for Jonathan Ryder. Well, what's old Johnny been up to? No games, Cal. Well, well spit it out. Twig. Twig. Cal! All right. Don't send that. Ma'am, the, the message has already been sent. No, we didn't have to end like this. But with all that drinking, you already have one from the grave. I'm just finishing the job. Well, good morning to you too, Susanna. You need me? You call me call back, Sheriff. Sure. I'll, I'll miss you. What'd it say, John? Well, nothing, it's just a family emergency. I gotta head back to Montana. Going out west? I wanna come. You know what? Come on, let's get a move on. Come on. the tattoos, even show their kneecaps. What's wrong? You've been quiet the whole way here. Tell me, what did it say? Twig. Pardon me? Is that like some Western inside joke or something? <laughs> no, it's, it's more than that, Susanna. Sheriff gave it to me. My hometown, Grandma. How do you know it's from him? Before I left, we, we made a code word just in case he needed me. Something's wrong. It's way too soon. What do you mean? Well, I only left two years ago, and well, you see, Greymont is not civilized. There is outlaws everywhere out west. Wait, like real outlaws? Like, like these? These are just stories you Eastern folk hear about. Outlaws are way more dangerous. And you just left your family there? Uh, well, my folks can handle themselves, you know. Three of them, Ma, Pa. Well, they are the epitome of a Western family, and some may argue that they took it a little bit too far raising me and Rosita. So I probably didn't get along too much, but, you know, the sheriff understood me. He knew I didn't want to be stuck there like my family. I wanted to make a name for myself, so I left. Let me see that. Is that tattoo? No, it's nothing, just a shadow, probably just the eyes playing tricks on you. But I need to tell you something. You need to look out for yourself out there because it is not like Boston. Don't trust anyone but me, okay? Those people are unpredictable and greedy. I didn't realize things were so bad there. That's really why you came to Boston? Something like that. Stopping by from Boston, me and my lady need a change of clothes, two revolvers, and y'all's finest horses. Y'all got that? What you see is what I got. I see your lady found the clothes, but got some revolvers behind the counter for you, and the horses are out back. Well, all right then. Excuse me, do y'all miss my size? Look at the lace. It's just like the ones in my book. Yes, darling. Sorry, ma'am. What you see is what I got. Well, I'll be damned. You're a rich. Shut up. You can just hand that dress over to me, ma'am. I'll have my wife hem that for you. Thank you. Were you just trying to scare me on the train? That man was so nice. His accent was just like I imagined in my books. There's your clothes. There you go. Oh, no. Just one, then. Who's that? <laughs> 
She's in your hotel. I'm afraid so, but it's okay. Let's get a move on. Go get changed. Meet me out back once you're done. Hey, we gotta head back to my family's ranch. Then, Grandma, you ready to learn how to ride a horse, darling? What? This place is a ghost town. They never leave town. There's only two. Means my sister's still about snakes. Come on. Town's not too far from here. You're just gonna leave? Probably inside. Are these all the buildings? <sighs> Pretty much. You smell that? Look, I told you this ain't like Boston. The West ain't fancy like that. See that? <laughs> Can't believe the saloon's still here. <laughs> After all these years, too. Where are you going? Wait, Wait, I'm sorry. You know that you owed me. I don't know. I'm sorry. Shut it, won't you? Where's the money, Crank? I don't got it. I, I don't got enough to pay you. You think I'm a damn fool, huh? I saw you get that money from that damn bartender. I, I don't know. Shut it, won't you? You wanna know what happens to dirty land snakes like you? Stop it. It can't be. <laughs> but it is. Jesus Christ, she's one shot. Rose? Rosita! Why are you doing this, Rose? And where's the sheriff? He's dead, Johnny. You know, he called me back the other day. I don't know why, but I think I do now. Oh, don't be such a baby, Johnny. I put that old man out of his misery. Don't you look at me like that. You haven't been here in years. Spend all your time up east, so lighten up. That man wandered around town drunk every damn day. He didn't do a thing for this town, especially for people like us. We did what Mom and Pa always wanted. We showed the townspeople that there is no law. We could rule this town. And we are, Johnny. <laughs> you really did it, Rose. You made yourself a name as an outlaw. You got the town. You win. You have one. Johnny, we got it. Damn it, you have a bounty on your head, Rose. So why can't you just let it go? Just take the money you have and go somewhere. Just leave the townspeople out of it. Should have let the sheriff out of it, too. This is not how this is going to go down. My boys will draw at any moment and try to end this wonderful system. <laughs> it 
Is this what you went up to, Johnny? Some East girl? Excuse me, that is not appropriate. First mistake, darling. Hey! Got a lot of nerve, Rose. Let her go. Oh, but I want to give her a proper welcome to the way she is family now, is she not? Wait, what? Your sister? She alive? One shot? That's right. But you know what family does? They damn leave. You left me, Johnny. You left Ma and Pa. You left our home. Don't you realize that that thing of their only son hated them? I never hated him, Rose, and I. I never hated you, it's just, it was wrong. What everyone wanted from me, it was just, I don't know, I, I never saw eye to eye. Eye to eye? It was our legacy to make, Johnny. You were one of us, still are. I didn't want it, Rose. I couldn't stay. I couldn't end up like you, lost in it all, being trained to kill, steal, manipulate. Couldn't end up like you. Some washed up outlaw calling himself one shot. He's a western trash. Now that is some western talk. Saw my bounty poster? What a cute and filthy response. Very, very great, on of you, but also very stupid. Oh, yes, Johnny. Show her who you really are. Look, Rose, this does not need to end dirty. Hmm. How about we end this the right way? A duel for your lady. Fine. Just let her go. No, no, she has to stay. You just can't miss. Let's see who the more skilled rider is. Let us have a proper goodbye. Get back here. Count down, will ya? One. Two. What are you doing, Jonathan? Staying with her one last time. It's the right thing to do. You were sure a rider, Johnny. So was I. Well, I'll tell you, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but it pains me to see you like this. It just... The streets of Greymont are much safer now, but at what a cost. Let's go, Joe.